This is great. Charlie Chanaratsapan was seven years old when he started his first business with video games. I would take the games and lease them out to my classmates for a dollar a day. I didn't realize you're not supposed to do that, but I uh, got in trouble with my, uh, my teacher in my class. But that didn't stop his entrepreneurial spirit. Being very proud of being from Texas, I grew up in Houston, I um, went to Episcopal High School. And eventually going to business school at Columbia in New York. He says his parents have had a big influence shaping his path to success. You know, they do silver jewelry manufacturing to department stores. Watching mom and dad grow their business from the ground up, it was only fitting for Chanarat Sapan to follow in their footsteps. But the main thing was parlaying that into uh, what we do today in Charming Charlie. The doors to that first store opened in 2004 when Chanaratsapan was in his early 20s. Today, Charming Charlie has grown exponentially to 236 stores across 36 states. Lessons learned along the way? Always cater to your core customer and never alienate them because they have other choices. From red to blue, from yellow to coral, some say the secret to Charlie's success is color. One of the customers came in, I'll never forget, she goes, you know, It'd be really easy if you merchandise a store by color. It'd be easier for me to shop. So they tried it in their next seven stores, and then... 236 stores later, we merchandise by color. The numbers don't lie. We drive a lot of traffic to the stores. On average, we'll do 4,000 women per week per store. Another accomplishment to add to Chanaratsapan's resume, father. Um, you know, we have a great relationship. We, we're, we're very close. Eight-year-old Taylor is also the inspiration behind Charlie Girl, another division of Charming Charlie catering to girls aged 5 to 11. At her eighth birthday party, we had a Charlie Girl party, if you will. All the party favors have accessories and jewelry and stuff like that. and. Uh, it's a lot of fun. When asked what is Charlie like when not wearing the suit and tie, running one of the fastest growing businesses in the country? I love what I do. I, when I say that, I can say it, which is so much invigoration. Of, I love what I do, and, and it never really turns off. Alota Carson, 13 Eyewitness News.